Việt Buzz Welcome back to the Viet Buzz show with Yvonne. Nice Holiday spirit. spirit for me, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, do as much or uh, as much as possible. Like, um, I have a small apartment now, so uh, I put up the lights, um, you know, hang up decoration, have the cookie in the oven for the smell while you're doing all that. What happened to the candles? The sugar cookies uh, in the oven. You can't do the candles afterwards. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's that's true. very true. Yeah, we can Whenever you want to share those cookies, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of the cookies today. <laughs> that might not be that good. <laughs> okay, so holiday spirits. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, go to neighborhood that like crazy decorated yeah. like hers. No, oh, I think it, if the house is just well put together, and just, I think it's just a matter of like when you see all those lights, you can't help yeah. but just mm-hmm. it makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy yeah. just seeing all those lights. Yeah, and yes. especially uh, like all those colors, mm-hmm. and then if they have all those like really funny like snow snowman or yeah, like the reindeers on, on the porch, <laughs> yeah. it's really cute. It it allows you to be a child again for mm-hmm. just a brief moment. Right. Yeah. If you have more, you can go crazy. If you have less, just you know, do something. And go crazy at someone else's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Every year, I'm on a mission. I like to every Christmas. I like to go to all of um, to visit Christmas trees. You know, like they have like the the Christmas tree lighting at Fashion like Fashion Island, Island yeah. the Grove, um, the Grove, and then they have it at South Coast too. Yeah. Um, so I love the big Christmas trees. I think um, New York has this beat for Christmas decoration. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's for Absolutely. sure. Like, um, I think they had. I just passed by it without even knowing that it existed, but um, I knew Saks Fifth Avenue was there, but I didn't know that they did a whole building like display of lights. So yeah. they have the lights and it flashes and there's music that goes along with the lights mm-hmm. and it's just like this whole show, show that they put on and you're just walking down Fifth Avenue and all of a sudden it's Christmas. <laughs> and you look into what, like their windows and they have all these little designs and yeah. of course Macy does it too. Macy's does it too and it's just like it's crazy. You and feel like you're one of those Christmas movies. Yeah, it is well it just reminds me of um, Home Alone. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I've seen that movie like a million times. So I swear, I yeah. still watch it. So, so what's your Home Alone like number two Ho- Home Alone. is actually mm-hmm. in New York. So like whenever I'm in New York and that whole like oh and they did the song that da, 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 mm-hmm. da, such a great sound to that um, yeah. to that light show. I wanted to, but I'm just like all of a sudden I'm a kid on my couch watching Home Alone 2 and Macaulay Culkin. I was just absorbed. I think by there's that. just there's an innocence to that movie, you yes. know, where humor was still very pure. Yeah. I feel like comedies is very different now. Um, but yeah, no, I've seen Home Alone and Home Alone 2 a million times. Yeah. Um, another one which is my favorite is uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. It's a Wonderful Life. Have you guys seen oh, it? Yeah. It's the black and white it's one. It's an old school movie. Mm-hmm. It is. It's mm-hmm. a. It's a. It's one of the classics. But yeah, no. Uh, I watch Home Alone and Home Alone 2 even when it's not cr- around Christmas. Oh, yeah. It's because it's it's replayed. Yeah. So it's on like throughout movies? the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, such a f- great feel good movie. How about you guys? Co- Korean dramas or American mm-hmm. movies around the the holidays? I like watching Elf. Elf? Yeah, oh, with Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Yeah. Yeah. He's like hilarious. Those. I remember that. Now, I mean, ever since it came out, now every year, I really like watching it. Yeah. Because he's so funny and weird. So. What about Bad Santa? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like, who's that guy in there? Bad uh, Santa, it just came out. Um, no, oh, well, no, it's, it's, old, it's, old, it's, it's an, an old one. one. No, it's, it's a new one. one. Pe- he just came out with a new one, I think. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Oh, Bad yeah. Santa 2. Yeah, something like that. Bad Santa 1 was so bad. Yes, I don't like him. I don't like him. Billy Bob Thornton. Something about him. His face. I hope yeah. he's not watching. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's gonna come and haunt, haunt us. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, you can cut that part. What about Leanne? Do you have anything nicer to say than Joanne? I said Elf was great. <laughs> I usually don't watch too many movies, but I do love Home Alone. I used to watch that as a kid. Uh, and I've seen Elf, and I really like Elf too. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Elf. Spaghetti with the syrup. <laughs> That's in the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen Elf. You should watch it this year. It's really funny. New Year's resolution. <laughs> <laughs> After Christmas, you want to watch Elf? <laughs> Jen, any any favorite movies? Home Alone one. And I like the holiday where. The, the, the movie, mm-hmm. the holiday, mm-hmm. where... I oh, Cameron was, Diaz. Yeah, oh, she was in LA, she swapped house with... Uh, holiday. Kate, 
um, in yeah, London. Yeah, gotcha. And then it's a love movie around mm -hmm. holiday. Yeah, it's love comedy. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's a cute one. It's a rom com. Romantic comedies, right? Yeah, that yeah. One's yeah. A cute one. yep, yep. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Mine is Home, Home Alone, Alone, of course. As well, but yeah. yeah. I, I like, East I like number two. Like, well, I like them both. I like them both. I, just, I don't know. I like the de destination of New York. and mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, they closed down shorts, the toy store, the FAQ shorts mm -hmm. store. They Aww. closed that whole store down like last year. Oh. But, it was like, such a landmark. It was a landmark, but they had to close it down because people just went there to see yeah. everything yeah. but not buy it because all the toys were too expensive. So expensive. Yeah. Because yeah, so it, was, it was a destination for many people that visited uh, New York City. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really East sad. Coast, I'm really sad because I never actually stepped foot in there oh. before they closed. And yeah. It just became a really Now you just have to backdrop. go to the fancy McDonald's. Do you, have you heard of that? The fancy, the really fancy sit in down New York? McDonald's no. in New York City? Mm -hmm. Where is that one? Mm -hmm. What would you think if your date takes you to McDonald's? First and last. In New York. <laughs> First and last. <laughs> but then you want to go fancy, you take me to In-N-Out. It's animal style There's fries. In-N-Out so. and <laughs> speaking like a California. That's why I don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> I stay here. Thing. Like, there's a lot of people who like, like certain fast food restaurants because it's like they've got that artificial fake taste. Yeah, the entire doesn't meal taste of the menu of McDonald's They want it to taste greasy and... Like, that doesn't sound good right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't imagine. I mean, you should totally try it, Yvonne. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Thanks a lot. No, you know what, what fast food stuff that I would eat? For some reason, I mean, maybe my schedule, because of my schedule. I do like to go through the drive-thru to McDonald's for their breakfast sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Like I do like that, the, the sausage, eggs and the sausage, yeah, or eggs and favorite. the McMuffins mm -hmm. or the yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's on an all-day menu now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. You don't even have to eat it. You can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> and a midnight snack. Because <laughs> you guys mentioned day spots, what's not okay? Which you made it very clear, McDonald's is not an okay day spot. So what are some okay places to take you ladies? Like on a first date, or like I've already met you. First date. And like we've already been dating. First date. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think to be a little creative is nice. If I'm assuming you've talked for a while before you actually agreed to go on a physical date with this person. Um, I'm hoping that they got to know what kind of food you liked, you know, and make it nice. Give me a suggestion. What, what in Orange County would you say is a good spot well, for a first date? Well, my boyfriend took me on our first date. We went to Mastro's. Mastro's. Yeah, but it was nice because we talked a lot and um, we've you know gone coffee and I didn't agree to any dinners mm -hmm. so we did coffee a lot we did a quick lunch shabu and then I don't know I finally decided to say yes to dinner and so we made like a, a date out of it like a nice date out of it so you actually it sounded like you had multiple first dates and then the actual yeah. dinner well <laughs> I don't know like I, I feel like dinner is so intimate and it's such a commitment when right. you're not even you don't really, know you're, you're like not really person. dating, you know? So I like to talk to them a lot. I like to see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to, if we have coffee, can you talk to me over coffee? Can you talk to me over shabu? Can you talk to me at any time, any given moment, you know? Yeah. I like casual first dates. Um, coffee, <laughs> like a, a simple dinner. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't have to be fancy. I love like hiking, doing outdoor stuff, so I think that would be a really good first date too. I don't want to see the. I don't want them to see me sweat. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I don't want to sweat my first date. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it to be something that casual, like me. And I don't want it to feel too pressure, too forced, too uncomfortable. Where to the point that you have to feel like you need to break the ice and all that stuff. It will, it will kill all the fun and all that stuff. I want to just. You know, like just no pressure and just enjoy each other company and just start off and talk about random stuff to see if you know you can get along. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of wishing when is it going to be over. <laughs> and one thing that I don't like a no big no no to me for a first date is going to a movie. Mm, yeah, no, because no. it's like you don't talk. Don't talk. And it's in the dark. So uncomfortable. And it's it feels like dark. very weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you only take us home if you don't want to see their face. <laughs> so no, no, no movies. Got it. No movies, first day. Or karaoke. That'd be, that's awkward. <laughs> how, about, how about get uh, buzz and drunk and sing karaoke? I mean, it'd be silly. That's I mean, first see the truth. If after, the if after self. you do that, yeah. But not if you're sober and go karaoke. That'd just be weird. Especially for 
a person that has a career like mine. Oh, this is if true. you if you say, oh, you know what? Since you're a singer, I'm gonna take you out on first date and it's karaoke. I'd be like, <laughs> oh wait, God. am I working <laughs> or? Am I on a date? I don't get it. Yeah, Maybe that's if like If I could the, sing like you, I'd be like, you're okay. On a working date. <laughs> I'm on a working date. Let me just show you yeah. what I can do. <laughs> Why you don't deserve me. <laughs> if I could sing, I would totally do that. I would love it. You would love to go I on would, a first date I at a karaoke place? I would pack my like, crystallized microphone, personal one. Just be like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I like a balance. Yeah. I, I like it to be casual enough where you can have a, a nice conversation um, and, and I'm, I'm not rooting for fancy restaurants, expensive meals, the first date. What I'm looking for is thoughtfulness. So yes, while it's more, it seems to be normal to kind of say, hey, let's grab a coffee, but I feel like it's, it's a great icebreaker where someone is like not sure if you're kind of the girl that he wants to invest the time in for, I kind of want to get to know you first. But I feel like it's there is a an appeal to that that traditional way of dating where someone actually puts a thought into like okay I I kind of know who she is I'm going to see if I can get this right by based on what she's told me and and I'm going to figure out and and based on what I like too because whatever they choose also says a lot about them as well. And so I think as long as they put enough thought into it versus it kind of wing it and you know so i don't know maybe like i said there's got to be a balance just, and it, yeah and it depends too mm -hmm. um, i remember the one time uh this first day he he actually planned it um he took me out to a concert first and then after the concert we went to a um, sushi place close by and then uh what did we do after what i don't remember <laughs> but but uh, the uh, you don't want to disclose. <laughs> <laughs> don't remember or don't want to disclose. I don't remember what happened that uh -oh. But yeah, um, things like that. I, I love going to concerts and um, you you don't have to be so like sitting right next to each other and just have to getting to know right away on the first day like so much about each other. Just to see, you know, the the fun personality first, mm -hmm. and see then see connect. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So do things like that, like you know, concert, hiking, and just share uh, interests and activities that you like together. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend literally told me, um, she was like, "Don't show you're crazy." <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> she was crazy. Like, yes. She was like, "Just." wait and then you know you can slowly let him know yeah I was like i don't think i have an off button for that though like <laughs> it's on and on and on. i don't really know if i can control that so joanne is always crazy and i think it's pretty normal button. but you know but, i mean if he were to ask it's on all the time yeah. <laughs> especially after a few drinks yeah. no well, still, if, still normal if, if you're, if you, if you're considered crazy right now that means all of us are crazy i agree <laughs> <laughs> i don't think all women are a little you know? Well, yeah, we have to be crazy. I think a lot of men just started nodding right men. now. <laughs> what Joanne just said. I think all women is a little crazy. I think all men just like, uh huh. I mean, they can't <laughs> yeah. say it, you know. <laughs> I think y'all a lot crazy. Not just a little. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> well, that was a load of fun. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks I'm sure. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start a, a, a cooking show and a dating show. Yeah. With all the, That's really the topics fun. that we were talking about today. <laughs> So I hope everybody can come back and visit me soon, right? Um, with that said, thank you so much for tuning in today. We really appreciate you being here. Um, and I know Christmas is coming. VitBuzz and myself and my guests, I'm sure, are wishing you and your families a wonderful holiday and a safe one. Thank you. I'll see you next time. VitBuzz sincerely thank the following sponsors. Introducing Bio Seaweed Gel. Their big five chemical-free formula will give you healthier nails with every use. At Walnut Auto Care, you'll find a friendly and honest team to service all your maintenance and repair needs. Call 909-595-6677 today. Nghiet Nippers Corporation, their elegant, durable, and handcrafted cuticle nippers are trusted and loved by nail professionals in 40 countries and counting. Fiat Buzz.